Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Vix DJ, and I've got a couple of guest commentators here today. I have New Hardstyle and and Joshua. And today, this is a domination bootleg, and um, this is Ground War, and I'm just playing solo. I'm using the Scar with Scavenger Hardline Marksman, and my kill streak rewards are Predator Missile, eight six Overwatch, and Pablo, and. I go 86 and 14, I think, is my final score, so hope you guys enjoy. And today we're just going to be talking about different things in, in COD, I suppose, and what's good and what's bad and all that. So, boys, without further ado, um, what do we think is one thing, of, if, if there's one game that, all, all out of all the COD series, one COD that we had to play... Like, no hacks, nothing, what would it be? Mm, Modern Warfare 2 on computer, because I'm really shitty at console. You're really shitty at console. At least yep. you're And what about you, Josh? Um, I'm gonna have to go with Modern Warfare 2, because um, the main reason I got an Xbox is because I used to watch YouTube videos and watch people play Modern Warfare 2, and I just thought it was the coolest game ever, and that's the reason I got Xbox, and it was the first game I got, so, I mean, it's a, it's still a good game, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's up there with COD 4, but I really love Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, agreed. I think everyone just plays M.3 now, because it's not hacked, it's the newest game, and I suppose everyone else plays it. Just sort of there is it. there is no hacks, but there is glitches like uh, getting under the map. Oh, yeah, there's glitches shit. on every game though. That really can't. Be. Mm -hmm. That yeah. can't really be avoided. It's part of what happens. Yeah, exactly. But I think in the new in Modern Warfare 3, there is a few things that they they do need to get rid of, such as Dead Man's Hand and Last or Final Stand. I don't care which one it is. I mean. Them saying there's no final stand or well, I can't remember which one, last stand or final stand, and end up three, but putting the other one in. I mean, the one they've put in is the worst one because they get back up eventually and they they have their primary weapon, so how is that fair? Like, if you're yeah. on a death streak, why should you get an advantage over someone that's ripping people to shreds, you know? I don't mm -hmm. I don't get the logic in that and I you know, I think that needs to be changed. So that's just one small thing. Um, There's big, one big thing: dedicated hosts. We need them so bad. Yeah, I. Yeah. I think it, it is unfair that one person can host the lobby and just tear through everyone, whilst other people can't host the lobby. I'm a person that can't host the lobby. If I host the lobby, everyone will DC straight away, and because I can't host the lobby. I'm instantly at a disadvantage. To the, if I'm in a gun battle with someone who's host, he's going to get two bullet kills on me every time. And yeah. that's bullshit, to be honest. But anyway, can't do much about that. Another problem is uh, how long <laughs> flash grenades last, especially if you use both of them. Oh, I lost yeah. so many kills due to that. Yeah, exactly. They... They last for way too long, like, I don't, they're just overpowered, like. I don't mind them being in the game, but if they were a sh very, a pretty short uh, duration, it would be fine. Yeah, you exactly. know, something that doesn't give you the huge disadvantage and you lose your kill every time because of it. Yeah, exactly. If you had a fair chance of killing them, <clears throat> like, say it gives you, like, slow, a slow thing, but doesn't turn your screen fucking white. Yeah, exactly. I think that would be that would be balanced. I think another massive thing that this game puts some people at disadvantage as an assassin. You sort of feel like if you don't go into a lobby without assassin, you're gonna die. Well, I don't use assassin personally, but I mean, if you've got a UAV, let's say that is your advantage, right? You have earned that kill streak, even if it's just for you. If they change it to the UAV, just just applies for you. I mean. Mm -hmm. Why should you be able to get a perk that just allows you to stop their rewards for killing you and also make your name disappear? You're like not there on the map pretty much. You're not on the map. And same with, mm, 
Same with Blind Eye, I think. If, if they get air support, you should be able to be exposed to their reward. Like, Cold Blooded wasn't that overpowered on End Up 2. I actually didn't mind Cold Blooded because it didn't have two functions. It didn't. Oh, actually, it did, my bad. Shit, it did. What the hell am I on about? Um. <laughs> It was probably worse, but you could still see people. You, you'd still, if you had a chopper gunner, you'd still kill a lot of cold-blooded people. And this, I don't think, an osprey gunner, you had much of a chance. That's just my opinion. Like, not everybody used it. I think because uh, we're stopping power pro, so many people would use stopping power pro, yeah. and in in turn, people wouldn't use uh, <laughs> it. It was either that stopping like power or just light, or oh, lightweight. It wasn't it. Those were the two. Mm -hmm. Big ones. I think I like the idea of the likes of Hardline's. Hardline's a good pick. It's not yeah. overpowered and it's yeah. not. I think. What are the other ones here? I can't remember. A quick draw, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> Assassin just got to go, I reckon. Um, um, <laughs> another thing that should be fixed is. Grenade should be buffed just a tiny bit. I hit marker every single time with one. I yeah. I, I just tend... buffed a tiny bit. I'm not saying uh, one grenade can kill half the map. You know. I yeah, think we all have our like... different opinions on that because I I mean <clears throat> grenades. I suppose some people would call them overpowered and some people wouldn't just because they're explosive. And yeah. There's a lot of people that don't like like RPGs and shit. How many people have yeah. you seen get mad over someone using an RPG or a, or a nerd? Ninety nine percent of the population. Yeah, exactly. Gets pissed about that. And then the thing it's pretty nerfed. Yeah, RPGs aren't used that much, I don't think. But that's just one thing. But yeah. Another um, another uh, thing I would really like to be removed is thermal scoop. Mm, it is. So annoying. I suppose, but with thermal, I mean, you also Basically. remove you remove a lot of um, like quickness with your aiming. You you sacrifice speed for accuracy, which I suppose is a good thing. Mm -hmm. So you could argue that point, but leave in the comments anyway. Um, it's quite interesting. One more thing, there will be a new montage on the way soon. That last montage was really just well, most of the boys, well most of my friends personally to, to sort of get a bit of recognition because some of them are good players so, but a, a couple of those clips were kind of average so in this next montage we've already got a couple of very very good clips, a couple of my, um, play, there's, there's the mode in this game by the way, um, a couple of my players are really really good so hope you guys enjoy that. And um, there's... the next topic I really want to talk about, the hacked lobbies and MW2 <laughs> on console. <laughs> yeah. Me and Pip got into, a, well, I got into a lobby and Pip just joined the game. It was a grumble. It was, it was a free-for-all. It was 12 people, not the average free-for-all. It was a full lobby. No, it was 18. People. It was 18. Well, 18, yeah. It was um, it was advertised, it was in public as a ground war lobby. It wasn't private match or anything. And people It wasn't just... ground war though, it was free for all. Yes, but like, you'd search, well, I searched ground war. I was searching for ground war matches and we found it. Oh no, you were, my bad. You were searching for <laughs> ground war matches and you found it. And it was like, yeah. what the hell? And it came up on, on Steve's join-in session thing, um, ground war. And so I joined it, and people are teleporting off the map and all that crap, so. You got super increased speed, uh, there was an infinite nuke going off. It's just, they need to sort that out, because people who do that ruin these games. These games are so good to play. The older games, especially, end up to, in Modern Warfare, I'd love to just be able to jump on and, if I'm getting tired of end up three and play that for a bit, but you can't, because there's too many nerds around. Anyway, that's alright. Uh, thanks boys for mm -hmm. commentating here today. Um, comment, rate, subscribe to my channel and everyone else's on my friends' channel. Um, a lot of new videos coming out soon, so 
all thanks for watching and stay tuned.